Oh, hello everyone. My name is Seng Yan Ni, founder and CEO of Biseng Inc. Today, I would like to talk about Biseng's 3D Super Net. Especially, I would like to explain why Biseng's 3D Super Net should be dominant in near future. Please enjoy my video tutorial. Let me start with an assumption first. There is price parity among planar NAND, 64 layer 3D NAND, and 1 layer 3D Super NAND. Recently, in the press release, Samsung mentions that it will focus on functionality rather than cost per bit of 3D NAND. So Samsung 64 layer 3D NAND will be still expensive than planar NAND. However, SanDisk said its 64-layer 3D NAND is the first point where it's cost-competitive with 2D NAND if it could achieve mature yield. So, it is fair to say that 64-layer 3D NAND will achieve price parity with planar NAND. Let me start from the point of price parity between 1 layer 3D Super NAND and 64 layer 3D NAND. This slide shows comparison of cell layer formation. We assume that the logic wafers are about the same and they are about $500 per wafer. Then we could compare the cost of cell layers separately. 3D Super NAND utilizes a Thin single crystalline silicon layer with two double patterning masks per layer. Unlike 3D NAND, which implements 64 layers at a time, 3D Super NAND implements layer by layer using high density cells. Processing time for one layer is about five days. In case of 3D NAND, it needs more than 120 ONON or OPOP. Blanket layers. In addition, many other layers are needed, such as gate stacks, channel poly, dielectric at macaron structure, waterline, uh, waterline matter, and tungsten slit. Overall, material cost of 64 layer 3D NAND should be much higher than that of 1 layer 3D Super NAND. 3D NAND does not heavily depend on multi patterning. Though, many photoresography steps are needed. For example, if five waterline contacts are formed at one mask step, then more than 13 waterline contact photo steps are needed. So, 3D NAND heavily depends on lithography steps. Vapor processing time for 64 layer 3D NAND set array should be more than five weeks. Here is cost estimation of cell array. For one layer of 3D Super NAND, it will cost about $150. For 64 layer 3D NAND, it will cost about $900. So total cost is about $650 for one layer 3D Super NAND and $1,400 for 64 layer 3D NAND. Okay, let's talk about device issues in cell layers. As we know, cell uniformity is essential for fast programming and erase, high endurance, and better SSD, and fast time to market. If cell uniformity is poor, then it will be difficult to implement TLC. In case of 3D NAND, it is focusing on stacking more memory layers to vertical direction. So, waterline staircase for 64 layer 3D NAND may stretch out 40 micrometer at the end of cell area. In order to compensate this huge waste area, page size should be bigger, and therefore cell non-uniformity increases from top to bottom and near to far from waterline context. In addition, we should concern about waterline delay waterline capacitance, and low cell current due to large cluster of cells 
within a page. In case of 3D SuperNAND, it has many small cell array blocks which are all identical regardless number of stacking layer and cell location. And it does not have waterline delay, waterline capacitance, and low current issue at all. So 3D SuperNAND is easy to make and has excellent expansion capability and cell uniformity. Okay, let's check how we could expand memory size. Assuming 30% big growth per year, it takes about 8 years from 1x to 8x memory size expansion. If bit growth is about 50%, then it will take just 5 years to reach 8x. So it will happen in short time. For 3D Super NAND, there is no problem with the memory expansion because the process architecture is well designed and therefore it could be cost competitive with just one layer. However, 3D NAND fails to be cost competitive until 64 layer because of wrong process architecture. Unfortunately, 3D NAND used up its original idea as 64 layer to be cost competitive with the vertical cell stacking. From now on, 3D NAND should use string stacking of 64 layer to increase memory size. So fundamental issues such as manufacturing difficulties including low yield will exponentially increase. Therefore, there is a high chance that 3D NAND would be more expensive when it adds layers using string stacking. According to a report, SK Hynix and Toshiba has fallen short of production by as much as 30% due to poor yield of the 3D NAND chips. Certainly, 3D NAND is more difficult to fabricate than previously thought. Let's talk about wafer cost. As memory size increases, wafer cost of 3D NAND drastically increases. For 512 layer 3D NAND, it will be about $7,500 per wafer, and wafer processing time will be about 45 weeks, which is about one year. Certainly, it is not manufacturable. So, when will 3D NAND hit the ceiling of vertical scaling? Considering manufacturability, wafer cost, wafer processing time, and accumulated yield loss of string stacking, it will soon face vertical scaling limitation. In case of 3D SuperNAND, it does not have to start with just one layer. It could start with five layers for the first product, and then it will quickly jump to 10 layer and 15 layer products. Here is summary. Samsung made a bandwagon syndrome of 3D NAND with a big success. However, the success does not come from 3D NAND itself. It comes from good SSD product strategy. Samsung knows that 3D NAND will be difficult to be cost competitive, but it has better functionality and reliability compared to planar NAND. So SSD would be the perfect product for 3D NAND. And it also could narrow down the price gap between 3D NAND and Planar NAND with extra costs such as SSD housing, SSD controller, and DRAM buffer. So Samsung EVO products are best sellers with 40% to 80% premium. In the meanwhile, other NAND vendors are not making money with 3D NAND yet. It turns out that 3D NAND is much difficult technology than previously thought. Technical challenges are growing as number of layer increases. We did not see such complexity and challenges from planar NAND. So it will soon face the limitation of vertical scaling. In my humble opinion, 3D NAND is just a mistake by smart people. Stupid people are not making mistakes because they are not taking challenges at all. As explained in this presentation, 3D Super NAND must be a right path for low-cost NAND. It will vertically expand over for the next 15 years with 30% big growth per year. So I believe 3D Super NAND will be dominant in the NAND industry in few years.
That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments. Thank you.